ready to go on. Ho, getting ready to go on. Look out now, cat. Look out now. Hey, hey, y'all. Here we go. Here we go. We're going on. <laughs> I'm going to be watching a few clips of Meatloaf's last appearances on Ghost Hunters. He did two other appearances in 2009 and 2010, but this one right here is a, f uh, a few clips, and I'm going to read some passages from an article about his last um, appearance on Ghost Hunters. Let's get to the video. Somebody requested for me to watch a minute of Meatloaf's last episode on Ghost Hunters, so I'm going to be clicking screen record in three, two, one. And here we go. Nobody's touching my shoulder. You're still there. Yeah. Lydia, did you just touch my friend's shoulder? We're not here to harm you. We're not here to tell you to leave. We're here to give you love. I lit up. You lit up. Lydia, are you still crying for Jimmy, the child that you lost? Lydia, are you calling for your son, Noah? Do you want to talk about Noah, the boy who lives here? They're gone. That was very weird, Cherry. <laughs> it was very weird. Hmm. That was really um, interesting. So, as you can see now, uh, you can see the article that says Meatloaf unnerved as he feels spirit touching him on his final TV appearances on Ghost Hunters. I, ha I don't really watch much Ghost Hunters, but I did really like the episodes with Meatloaf in it. And I don't know if y'all believe in stuff like that. And when it's television and it's probably scripted, I'm not really sure about it. But I did really enjoy that, and I'm going to have to try to watch the uh, go and watch Discovery Channel and see if I can find the full episode, because I would really like to watch more of it. So let's see what they say about it. When it was announced that Meatloaf had died in on January, I'm going to say on January, at the age of 74, it was revealed that one of his final TV appearances would be on Ghost Hunters the paranormal show that investigates strange happenings and haunted properties. The episode has finally arrived with the Bad Out of Hell singer getting up close and personal with spirits inside a hometown locally at the haunted house on the hill in Jonesboro, Tennessee. Its owners and their family plagued by strange spirits, strange noises and apparitions. This isn't the first time that Michael Lea Day has joined the investigators on the series, having also shown up in episodes that aired in 2009 and 2010, showing a keen interest in the spiritual world. It says ahead of the new episode's release, Metro.co.uk can share two exclusive clips feature, which feature me witnessing some particular activity. Sing, the singer was honored to return to the show. That's a good picture. Let's see, before Meat showed up in the episode, the presenters met up with the owners of the house, Linda and Brad Telcott, who told them that the property, which is a two-story farmhouse built in the 1800s, has a history of being haunted. While two of the daughters spoke about hearing odd noises, including a woman screaming, their son Noah revealed that he often sees an apparition of a man in a bedroom, in his bedroom, as well as an apparition of a little boy. Having heard that, there might have been a death on the land caused by someone drowning in a pond, the ghost hunters included meat, set their sights on getting to the bottom of the mystery. In one of the scenes, a musician was sitting in the room while investigator Sherry don't know how to say her last name. If you know how to pronounce her last name, let me know in the comments. When he said he could feel someone making contact with him. Somebody's touching me. Somebody's touching my shoulder. The musician said in the darkness as he stayed sti as still as possible. Sherry called out to the ghost a woman called Lydia, who they believed was there, saying, Did you just touch my friend's shoulder? 
We're not here to harm you. We're here to, we're not here to tell you to leave. We're here to give you love, Meat added. As the device he was holding to the monitor, Spirit's presence lit up. When Sherry tried to ask further questions, ask, um, asking whether Lydia was crying for Jimmy the child, she lost. All activity ceased. That was very weird, Sherry said. <coughs> very weird, Meat said, as he held his head in his hands. Another clip that I would do anything for Love Singer was sitting in the living room. So if you guys want to stay, stick around, I'm going to be watching the second clip. Did somebody just come in that door? Somebody there? Hello? Holy The music, though. The music. A second ago, I could see the light on the fridge. It blocked out. No, I saw it. Keep on coming. Don't be afraid. Sure, I'd be freaking out. Can you get closer and make it light up even real, more? I'd be freaking out. Oh. oh, there we go. Okay. This will give us the ability to communicate back and forth. Oh, yeah, it's really lighting up. That was on command. It's accumulated a little bit, too. I just saw it. What was that, though? It was just... It was almost like a little... Uh, we were invited here by the Talcott family to figure out why you're here. There's a pond on the property. We also heard that somebody may have drowned in that pond. Lydia Ooh, or William Sherfy, did someone in your family drown here? This is creepy. Is it going away? Yeah. It completely went dark. Hmm. Well, that was an interesting clip. Is there any more? I don't know. It says, did anybody just come in the, that door? Somebody there? Is somebody there? He asked as a shadow of some sort appeared to pass by the fridge in the kitchen. A second ago, I could see the light on the fridge. It blocked out as Jason Hughes, Hughes I think. I don't know how to say that. The founder of the Atlantic Paranormal Society. And then there was a tapping noise, I guess, because it says taps. No, I saw it. Keep on coming. Don't be afraid. Meet or meet urge the ghost. That's interesting. This is this whole thing is. I think that's it. Is that the only? Yeah, that's the only videos. But if you all enjoyed this, let me know in the comments what you think. If you even watch it, if you don't, I mean I understand because even if it's scripted and it's not like might, might not be totally real. It's got a thrill factor to it that I just, it draws me in. I don't watch it that often, but I do occasionally. But let me know in the comments what you think about his last appearance on this um, show. Thank y'all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell to get notified for new and upcoming reaction videos. And as always, thank y'all for watching. That was really interesting, though. I'm kind of, before I get off of here, I'm kind of, um... I mean, it's fun to watch, but it's also kind of sad to watch knowing it was one of his last appearances, you know, because I've been a fan of Meatloaf for years, but thank you all for watching.